Hey everyone, I'm Danny702 and today's adventure brings us back to the Bellagio on the Las Vegas Strip. Springtime has officially begun and the Bellagio Botanical Garden debuted its new springtime display. Uh, they change it about five times a year, once for every season, and then they also do it for Chinese New Year. It's themed Japanese spring. Now the last time we were here was for the Christmas winter time display, so let's see what's different. Now right here is a pathway that leads you right through the front in the center, and it's lined with eight cherry blossoms. Looks like they have a koi pond. I wonder if there's real fish in there. Hmm, I don't see any. Oh, they got some lanterns there. That would look really cool when it's uh, the sun is setting. This turtle topiary is made from 375 specialty roses and then 500 stems of pink carnations. Now there are over 65,000 flowers that are used in the exhibit. So here is the centerpiece, which is a tribute to Mother Nature. It's like she's rising out of the water, holding that pearl in her hand. Oh, it's so pretty. There are Flowers made of flowers. Daily they come in and exchange any flowers that aren't looking so good. Oh hey, there's actual fish in this one. And then this here is a tea house and it's made of bamboo and other natural materials. It smells so good in here. I wonder how long just this took to make, putting all of those petals on this vase. I love this part. This is my favorite part. It's like a waterfall made from her hair rising above the water. So thanks for coming along to check out the botanical gardens here at the Bellagio. Really quick look at what has changed for their springtime display. Eddie had an idea of comparing White Castle with In-N-Out because where else can you get the two um, hot off the grill, basically? So let's check it out. So this is what we're dealing with. We got four cheeseburger sliders from White Castle and then two cheeseburgers from In-N-Out, a side of fries. Here's a, um, just a regular cheeseburger, no onions. Um, usually we get double doubles, which are the double cheeseburger, but we're getting, we're going with the single. And Newcastle, and then uh, I can't even peel it away. It's like <laughs> the cheese, Stuck the it. cheese like literally glues this like, two centimeters of meat to the, uh, to the bun. We definitely aren't food vloggers, but uh, we just felt like there was a really cool opportunity because I don't think you can get in and out and uh, White Castle anywhere else within the same uh, half mile radius uh, or even... Quarter mile, yeah, man. Geez. Pretty good. I mean, is there any sauce at all or...? Uh, I don't know. He's got pickle. Oh, here we go. Oh. A single pickle. I 
because it's not like overly done. It's like just lightly, but enough to make it crispy. It's a little crispy. Well, it's my bite. I want to say I want to give it a 10, but I want to leave room for improvement to like like the inner nine because this is really good. And it's for the price point too. I was trying not to be biased, but God, I think that's not even. So it honestly isn't even. So good. It's not even about being biased. It's just like the pure flavor, like the first so bite, good. the texture, the flavor. It's, it's like almost like unfair to compare them. <laughs> well, it was your idea to compare them, and now he's saying it's unfair to compare them. I don't know. What do you guys think? What is your preference of in and out versus White Castle? Has anybody had both, or you know, or maybe people uh, from the East Coast might think we're crazy? Maybe it's an acquired taste for in and out but if you visit the West Coast and you're not from here, try it out for sure. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me on today's adventure. Don't forget to subscribe for more in Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. I'm on Instagram, danny.702. I'm also on Patreon, patreon.com slash dani702. Until next time, bye. Oh, 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 oh,